beating that monkey spirit had opened a door heading straight into native territory. I decided then that if I was going to make any headway, I'd have to come to some kind of truce with the locals. So I set out to find their village. Ooh. 
Can't enter. Why? Because if you do, I kill you. I can't even come in for a visit? If you visit, I kill you. You're kinda hung up on this killing thing, aren't you? You ask me any more questions, I kill you. Don't mind him. Everyone is tense since Mika, the princess, vanished. What if I find her for you? You still here? I kill you. I've never understood why princesses always seem to be in need of saving, but if that's what the natives wanted out of their hero, I figured I could deliver. Even though I'd never met any, no princess could resist the charms of Pitfall Harry. Kill, 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 kill. Can you make it up onto this ledge? Then I can use your torch to see. Ah, much better. Got a question. Bittenbinder told me that your group is here looking for Kevin McAllister. What was McAllister looking for? Another page from the Heroic Handbook. You know, helps you be heroic. The Aura Handbook. McAllister? Okay, okay. He was looking for El Dorado. El Dorado? That's just a myth. So they say. But I don't trust they, or them, or him, or her. In fact, I'm suspicious of all pronouns. I think El Dorado is real. So where do you fit in? I'm interested in time travel. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing. I'm just interested.
Um, excuse me? Your name is Pitfall Harry. You dig things up and fight evil. Sounds about right. But how do you... What did you just do? How can I help you, Harry? I've been by your village. I think they're worried about you. I just wanted some butterflies. Why? You don't need a reason to want something. If I get you some butterflies, will you go home? If you'd like me to. Butterflies coming right up. Close, but I was hoping for a few more. Ah. <sighs> some kind of shield to get past these. Visit me at the village sometime. Phase one of my plan was complete. Rescue Princess from the clutches of evil butterflies. Phase two was about to start. Being welcomed with open arms at the native village.
啊，哪来的？Back? Now I kill you. Who do you think got your princess to come back? With those butterflies. That was you? Then you're welcome into our village. <sighs> Before you come in through, I was wondering. No pressure, mind you. But maybe sometime down the road, perhaps letting me, you know, kill you. What's with you in the killing? I guess it's been a while. Have you ever thought of redirecting your energies? Taking up a hobby? Like chasing wild boar, for instance? I could chase a wild boar and kill it. Yeah, sure. Could you open the gate now, please? Kill, kill. kill. Oh yeah. By returning Princess Mike to our village, you've done a great thing for our people. You are now an honorary member of our tribe. Topa! Take this shield. It will protect you from weapons. It will protect you from the sun. And you can float on it down the river. But only for five seconds. Because then, it will sink. Thanks. Let the initiation rites begin! Let, Let the initiation rites begin! Uh, what initiation rites? We initiated 12 men last year. Two survived the test. You have nothing to worry about. You have completed the initiation rite, apparently without dying. <laughs> now, you can compete in the ancient games of skill, and you can also come and go at will, safe from harm from our people. Sounds good. Though our warriors will not bother you in the wild, there are some renegades who are outside of our control. Avoid them. They will try to destroy you. How will I differentiate them from your warriors? By their red glowing eyes. Why do their eyes glow red? None of us are really sure, actually. 
Some think it's some combination of magic and evil. But that's just a guess. Maybe they stare at the sun too much. Ah. Once I had the shield, I knew I could head through the Butterfly Glade and into Renegade territory. See what they were up to. And who knew, maybe I'd find an explorer or two tied up somewhere. Hey, Princess. What's wrong? Have you ever felt like you belong in a different time? Not really. This is my time. Every day, I make it mine. My time is still to come, yet it's in the past. Hey, if you think this woman of mystery thing is gonna work on me, forget it! What are you doing? Going boing? I know that. Then why'd you ask? You're strange, you know. You know, life's getting a little complicated. Lay it on me. There's this girl. Keep going. Dr. Love is in the house. Nicole? Oh, great girl. Pet me behind the ears for two hours. She'd be perfect for you. Except, of course, that she thinks you're an idiot. Because you wouldn't talk when you were supposed to. Harry, you can't live your life in the past like that. Hey, since I learned to talk, these guys revere me like a god. Hey, fellas. What's up? Thought they revered you like a god. Well, not everyone feels comfortable around uh, a god.
哪来的？
驸马哪来的？After shutting down the renegade outpost, I found a gas mask that they'd stolen from our plane wreck. I knew it'd get me past all those stink clouds I'd seen up north in the jungle, and maybe even up into the mountains.
I'm fine here. And make sure Nicole is okay. Please help the others. I'm fine here. And make sure Nicole is okay.
great to see you. Have a raft. Excuse me? To thank you, I, I want you to have my high-tech raft. It's been designed using the secret science of Raftronics. It's an inner tube. It's just a prototype. Tell me about Nicole. She ever lighten up? Listen, don't be fooled by her shell. She, she misses her father tremendously. After we disappeared, she just, you know, buried herself in books. Can't blame her. The way I see it, McAllister cared more about himself than his daughter. Oh, that's not true. If you have a kid who loves you and needs you, face it, you're a pig if you take risks that end up with her being abandoned. Dr. McAllister was no pig.